No, where's my stick? In your hand. They're both Ow. in your hand. No, my other one. <laughs> they're in your hand. They're in your off Oh, hand. the other one I had too. Yeah, we've got two. Oh, yeah. no, listen. Okay, to be fair, it was not showing up on You've my screen. you got two. <laughs> oh. You see, this oh is God, this is the happening? chaos. Welcome to the Menace SMP. I have changed my very first single player survival world into a modded SMP with friends. So I can be more motivated to bringing ideas to life surrounded by a great group of people who like me just want to hang out and have fun in Minecraft. My last upload from this world would have been November 16th, 2022. And while I want to stick to a mostly vanilla style build, there is a few mods that we have all agreed on adding and a few modded blocks that I want to use as accents and highlights. But for every modded block that I build this ancient city with, I will give you a block of choice from vanilla that I would personally pick to replace it. Seriously, you can hold me to that in the comment section if I forget. Speaking of forgetting, don't forget to like and subscribe. So my goals for this episode are 1. Drag everybody to the nether for chaos. 2. Find all of the new crops. 3. Build all 7 modded workbenches. 4. Build up my waystone area. And finally, fix up this tower. But if I'm going to drag all of my friends to the nether on their first day, I had better make it worth it. So they will get to raid my base for crops and materials. No one can have all these. These are all mine. <laughs> You're just these raiding the potato mine. fields. <laughs> Exactly, it's all mine. There's a chest full of potatoes if you want some potatoes. Right we planted them so everybody has uh, some. Uh, yeah. They're all mine. <laughs> oh, well that's more simple. <laughs> more civilized. <laughs> Who's fighting? Oh. Uh, no, no you don't. We were doing it with fists and then you pull out a weapon. That's not fair. It was an accident. <laughs> lying. No, it wasn't, you liar. <laughs> I've played with lying. you enough to know when you're lying. <clears throat> don't mind the blood. Don't mind the blood. What? Oh, you mean <laughs> the ketchup spots? Blood. Um. She means the redstone. Your blood has numbers. Uh -huh. <laughs> One of my resource packs has given them numbers. No, come back. Uh, oh, just a little house. Yeah, that one's getting torn down eventually. Oh, I see. Wait, you just took over a village. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah, and she's locked them away in a dungeon. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. First, the blood. That is a bit strange. It's just a farm. It's just That's a people funny. farm. It's, it's just a people farm. It's fine. People it's farm. fine. Uh, it's just a people farm. First, it was the blood <laughs> on the floor. Now it's now, this. Now it's a people farm. <laughs> Who are you? And what are you doing with Gekka? Just a people farm. Scary. Where did Honey go? I think Honey's at spawn. Oh, yeah. By the way, I I'm can't use a shield. I'm not at base, right? See? I just appeared here. Okay, so basically, I need to find a little house zone and put a waste stone, and then people can come to that yeah, spot too. Yes, but who wants to visit you? <gasps> wow, uh, that's crazy. Shots that's fired. Wild. That's shots fired. <laughs> well, I'm gonna let everyone uh, have my waste stone except Honey. for yeah. Honey. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait. Fight, fight, fight. <laughs> I'm trying Sorry, to run out. I've got regen juice. No! Oh. <laughs> Go away, Davis. Go away. Actually, I got a shield, so I can just block you. No, oh. no, 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 no. Yeah. no. There we are. Oh. We're even. That's it. Even oh. Stevens. That's all I wanted, okay, honey. Even no, 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 no. Nah, you started this. You, you better prepare for nah. war, mate. <laughs> nah, nah. Yeah. yeah, this means war, mate. Ow. Oh, hi, Ow! friends. No, uh, I wouldn't kill them because villagers. Oh, the cat! <laughs> the cat! The cat! cat. It was no. the nasty guy. The bomb. The bomb blew it up. Oh, the bomb blew up my cat! Oh, my God! That's my white cat to me. <laughs> no. It was the nasty guy. <laughs> the cat! <laughs> bomb man. To be fair, the cat probably... That's crazy! Cat. Oh, shit! The cat was chilling by the entrance. Oh! Oh! Oh, I watched it die right in front of my eyes. I found another cat in he out here. I've got two. I've got. I've got I I'm had three so kitties. Sorry I had three kitties. Loss. I'm not. Well, that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. Gekka gave us no, like that... diamonds and waystones and a sack and 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 you're just like whatever. <laughs> my cat blew up. <laughs> so shall we go to the Nether? Wait, you want to go to the Nether? I have sticks and a shield. And this iron sword and some oh, potatoes. Oh, come on, Steph. Stop being a wuss. <laughs>
safe to say that we've had a lot of fun on the server already, but look, we have a neighbor. Don't worry, Davis and I have talked about where he's building and where I will be building this city. And he might be right on our doorstep, but it won't be interfering whatsoever with the expansion of the city. Now I've gone ahead and pulled all of the materials for every chipped workbench in each of these chests and also arranged them in the crafting pattern. So let's make these all up and have a look, shall we? Wait, Tinker Table? Oh, okay, it has to be oak slabs and stripped spruce logs. Oh, I can do that, yep, yep, yep. So that's all the tables made. Let's take a look at them. We have botanist table, glass blower, carpenter's table, the loom, the mason's table, alchemy bench, and finally the tinkerer's table. Now I'm not sure I'm going to get around to using all of them, but we'll have to build a workshop in the future. I definitely want to have a look at some of the modded blocks in the carpenter's workbench. Ooh, yeah, I like those ones. The botanist table. Yeah, this is going to come in handy for all of the vegetation. And let's have a look at the mason's bench. These are pretty cool. I do like vanilla and its restrictions, but sometimes a little more variety in a build doesn't hurt. Anyway, I'm going to go on a little adventure and explore the surrounding area to see if I can find all of the new crops and seeds from Farmer's Delight and Supplementaries. And I will bring you back if I find anything interesting. Otherwise, we will get straight into building up this waystone. Honey and I spent about three and a half hours looking for all of the seeds. We did get most of them within the first 10 minutes, but cabbage was apparently very difficult to find. So let's have a look at what we did get. So we got all of the onions, the flax, the cabbage, tomato, and rice, but also I got a skillet. <laughs> It's massive in comparison. Oh my god, this thing is ridiculous. But we have to get started on that waystone area, and I think a fountain would be the perfect build to surround it. So let's get the materials. Right, I have gone ahead and collected up all the materials we're going to need for this waystone, and we have just a few variations. The shroom lights are not my first choice. I would prefer a ochre frog light, and I'm going to use this runic sandstone over the classic block. Right, now to get started on our waystone, we need to create a circular shape. We're going to go four blocks out from the center of each side of the waystone and cap each side off with a T. Once all four sides have been dug out, it's time to connect them together. To do this, we need to go in by one and up by one, making sure to turn at a 90 degree angle on the last double block. Once we repeat this pattern the whole way around the outside, we will have our circular outline, which we're going to fill with warp logs. Once all the warp logs are in, we're going to start clearing out all of this extra terracotta. And then we're going to start laying in our sandstone slabs, and I'm using a cobbled variant. Any plain vanilla slab would do perfectly fine here. Just so I don't make any mistakes, I'm going to put in the light source real quick. And back to putting in the floor. Once all the slabs are in, it's time to start waterlogging. Once the first layer of waterlogging has been completed, it's time to work on the outside of the fountain. Each side is going to have three stairs, and then we're going to alternate the stairs and a runic cut sandstone. Once that's done, it's time to work on the inside of the water fountain. This is going to be a combination of some stairs and some slabs, as well as some warped wood for a pop of colour. Now that that's all in, it's time for our waterlogged second layer. Making sure that we aren't waterlogging the stairs on the outside. Now that the pool of the fountain is complete, it's time to work on the platform that we will need to stand on in order to use the waster. Again, I'm just going to use a bunch of stairs and slabs to cover this area up. And then I'm going to add stairs on the sides just to give it a little bit of structural stability. Then I can start working on the top of the water fountain, making sure to use stairs and slabs to create little passageways where the water will flow down from the top. And now it's just time to put in the water. Now 
it's not hard to say which blocks I would use for vanilla, I would definitely replace all of the chip blocks with the carved sandstone and probably mix in a bit of normal regular sandstone just to give it a little bit of texture but I would also change the lights at the bottom to simply frog lights and I probably will do that sometime later when we finally get a frog life up so I'm gonna need quite a few frog lights for this for this video and I think the only thing that's missing is let's get some tropical fish and some lilies while I collect these fish, if you've made it this far into the video, please consider liking and subscribing and maybe leaving a comment down below. I appreciate every single one. Now that the fountain is done, we have a nice little area where people can come visit. Now onto this tower. I built it a while ago and I don't like it. I think it's a little bit meh and um, well, this staircase is a little bit too narrow. So let's start tearing down everything I don't like. That was a very quick time lapse, but let's have a look at what I've changed. The first thing was widening out this pathway. This needed to be at least too wide so I could navigate to the top of the tower a lot easier. I've also kept that pop of color with the mangrove trap doors, but I've chosen a chipped version just to give it a little bit more of a softer look and not such a solid trap door. I've also gone ahead and added in a bunch of texturing to the side of the tower using birch logs and birch planks definitely the stripped version but it gives enough variation to the build and with the roof I wanted to keep that vibrant copper pop of color but it just didn't look right with all copper so I've mixed in a bunch of acacia logs and planks I've also changed the shape of the roof to be more of a dome and given it a spire I've also used dark oak as the trim just to keep a nice contrasting color between the beautiful orange and the cream sandstone I'm really happy with the final result of this tower and I want to know what your thoughts are. If you like the changes, let me know. Um, and I'm playing around with a path design at the moment, so it looks a bit stark against all of this orangey terracotta, but once the rest of the city is in, I'm hoping that it'll blend pretty well, but we'll just trial it for now. And I'm thinking about creating more of a Let's Play video style where I take it a little bit more step by step just so I can try and get out more content on a regular basis. I am also thinking about streaming, so if you guys want to leave a comment down below letting me know if you think I should stream on Twitch or YouTube, I haven't decided yet, but I will take into consideration what you guys all think. But that's all from me today, so I will see you on the next one. Bye for now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, it would help if you drove the boat. Wait, no, I can't drive this boat. Yeah, you gotta get out and then let's. Oh, oh. oh wait, my God. wait, what's happening? <laughs> ah!